guys, I'm gonna actually show you how to disassemble a computer or a computer motherboard. Let's get started. So, if the actually, if you want to replace your computer and uh, and when you replace it, you have you have some problems, right? Well, you can replace the RAM. The easiest way to replace this RAM is like this. I'll show you in a little bit how to actually put it back. Okay. So, you're going to want to grab one of these screws. It has to be a, at least a little big and so you can actually um to untie these screws. I wish I had a tripod cuz I literally don't. My friend Mark does. So it should be should should be like this. But yeah. Oh, and another thing guys, if you haven't seen my friend video of Fall Guys, yeah, I think he has some kind of tripod. I'm pretty sure he has a tripod. So. Alright. Okay. Okay. It's still stuck there. Hold on for a minute. I'm just gonna tie these screws more better. Okay. Now, here is where you'll actually get confused. How do I take out the CPU? Well, it's very easy. First, you gotta actually grab this and actually put... You actually pull it like this, and then you just put it up, and the CPU comes out. It's an AMD Athlon. Uh, it's a 64 one. 64. Uh, X. Yeah. It is actually very good, and, uh, yeah. The processor actually, actually, uh, I'm not sure. I haven't tested it, but I will test it soon. Uh, so, if you want to take out this, uh, internet connector, well, it's very easy. You just gotta untie this screw. Yep, you gotta actually do it hard, or if not, the screw won't come out. Alright. And, yep, here it is. You can just put that on the side, and yeah, that's all. Hold on. Okay, so, uh, before, uh, before I, I actually get into anything else, I'm going to take out the CMOS battery. The, the most easiest way is actually by using one of these screwdrivers again, just by going, and you're just pulling it like this. Yep. Like this. And yeah. Sorry for the, sorry for the background sound. It's just that my mom and somebody else are watching Heartland. Yeah, if you haven't seen that series, it's pretty good, but, yeah. Yep, here's a CMOS battery. If you don't know what the CMOS battery does, it's just to actually, uh, automatically save the time. This is the, this is some kind of, a. uh, uh how do I say? It can be an internet, or it actually could be, uh... I'm not sure. I'm getting confused with these. This is the RAM. Yep, it's one gig of RAM. This is the CPU. Uh, I forgot what it was called. Uh, in total, but yeah. All right. The only way to put it back is just by you see how this is actually see this thing right here. Well, you're gonna want to check if there's something here, and you're gonna. Want to check if actually these are uh, are like this? Okay, but here you are. Here you're gonna have to put it like this, and uh, done. Now the RAM. The RAM actually it's very easy. Well, it sometimes takes a lot of time, but you just gotta put it in those holes. But if it does fit perfectly, well, 
these are actually, these are gonna fit. So, yeah. And, yeah. Okay. This, uh, internet, or I think, I think it's some kind of internet cable, uh, adapter. And I think, or I, it's for one of those old telephones. You can plug in so you can get a, a line, but I don't think so. So, you you will ask me, where did I get this? Well, hold on. I'll just tell you right back. I'll just tell you right, right now. Hold on. You gotta put the screw in back. Okay. So, where did I find this? Well, I found it actually at the garbage with my dad. And I decided to take it all the way home with me. The only way to put the CMOS battery is like this. And then I'll, it'll go like this. But first you have to put the CMOS battery like this, then put it like this. Yep. So, where did I get this? Yep, I got it from the garbage. And actually, uh... I actually found it with the hard drive and with all with just the power supply, but I uh, threw out the hard drive because why would I need it? All right, and uh, yep. Accidentally, when I was repairing something, my dad was touching this. It's the uh, it's the thing to power on here, and he touched it very. He actually pushed it hard and it came out like that. And, uh, yeah. But, there's no way to fix that. But, yeah. And, I hope you like this video, people. Also, I'm not, there's actually a product key on there. I'm not gonna show that. I'm gonna show you what this is. It's designed for Windows XP. It uh, has an AMD Avalon 64, and the graphics are, of course, from the Vita. Why not? Well, they're okay, but, yeah. Uh, so, this is actually running Windows XP, but I've never tested the hard drive and that stuff, but, yeah. Soon I will do, actually, my whole entire collection of, uh, uh, phones I have. Also, I got a brand new phone, because, uh, why not, of course. Because my phone was getting bad and bad and bad, like, it wasn't getting great, but yeah. Anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah, before I actually end the video, you're gonna want to actually put the, this back, like, this. You're gonna want to try to Get it to its position, and then screw it back to its place. And it should be working fine. And if it works, well, I don't know. If it doesn't actually, if the screw doesn't go correctly, you're going to want to push that screw hardly and then screw it like that, like for only like two seconds, then you're just going to screw it normally like this. You're going to want to, if it doesn't just, if it doesn't just stick in, well, you got to this hard and yeah, but you can try it on this too like this. Yep, it works all the time. So yeah, I'm gonna start repairing uh, technology and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, but I hope you like this video. I'm not, I'm not going to the temple yet. Okay, bye.